Hello YouTube. This is Chrysanthemum. Let me see. I think I got this. Oh, let me go back. All right, there is good. This is Chrysanthemum, and today's video is about the Essence magazine situation with Miss Angela Davis. Um, I myself. I hardly ever look at Essence Magazine, so my thing that I want to ask is do people really think that it's going to affect the magazine if they have hired a white director for um, the fashion department? I really don't know because I might buy Essence Magazine maybe once or twice a year I really don't and you know buy the magazine I'm not really into super like fashion because I don't really care about a designer bag I don't really care about designer shoes whatever looks good to me if I can afford it I buy it and so that's how I do I kind of mostly dress conservative anyway you, you really never would see me in something like really break out crazy looking so I don't know people I mean when you see this video you can respond you don't have to tell me that I, however I look right now because it's the middle of the night and I was just reading it and saw the, the um, lady Angela Davis and Roland Martin were on CNN talking about it and so I just decided to put this video together um, asking about what do people think about the white lady her last name is places or something like that her name is Eliana Plakis and um, yeah the woman who's getting upset her name is Mickey Al wait not Mickey is Michaela Angela Davis and she used to work for Essence magazine and um, the person that I just said, Ileana Plakis, she's the fashion director for SS Magazine now, and the guy who's the director over her or the editor in chief, his na his name, oh sorry, her name is Angela Burt Murray, and she says she's gonna stand by her decision as far as hiring this white woman to be the fashion director because she said that the woman has good vision and she likes her energy. And she saw her work in other places, so she really liked what she saw. So she thought she could bring that into Essence Magazine to help it to keep the brand going. So I really don't know. I mean, I like the magazine, but like I said, I've really only really like buy it like once or twice a year if it's an article or a person on the cover that I really like. But I don't have a subscription. And the woman who you see the pictures of before, she used to be the fashion director. But then she went to Vibe Magazine a couple of years ago. So she's saying, she's upset, but she's saying she doesn't want you to cancel your subscription, your subscriptions to Essence Magazine. But she's just saying that they could have picked a better choice because this is a black magazine for black women. And that she's also saying in her article that's on CNN that when they had Fashion Week this year they only had one seat for Essence Magazine to sit out to take pictures or to look at the new fashions that are coming out for the next season and so she's saying that the industry as far as fashion directors as far as magazines for black people or black women um, are so small the market is so small and the industry is so close to us of color or black women period so why would you pick a white woman to come into Essence magazine and and become the fashion director for a magazine that's been around for 40 years um, I don't know like I said once again tell me what you think please write subscribe to Amaya's grandma 2008 and comment please if you 
say something stupid or fat ugly bitch whatever you want to say I'm going to block you and I'm going to probably say something crazy back to you I really don't care about how you care about how I look right now because like I said once again it's the middle of the night so I'm just really just trying to see what you probably think about Essence Magazine hiring a white woman to be the fashion director and this is a black woman's fashion, health, um, I guess they do like marriage things, relationship, um, articles, um, type of magazine for black women. So tell me what you think. Bye bye YouTube.